Hi, Mike Kennedy. Here's just an update. I've been using artificial intelligence, or at least what's available to, you know, regular people. <laughs> it doesn't cost an enormous amount of money. Some of them have try it for so long, and it's free, and then they're going to charge you for a month after that. So sometimes it pre periods a week, sometimes it's a month, or sometimes it's so much off for, you know, whatever time you use it. So it's interesting that um, it can do something really good, and then it can turn out something that's garbage. Okay, first we're going to look at this clip of our, the the prompt is this is text to video, you know people all of people have seen this text to image, you type in a rabbit on a log in the forest. It creates that, and there there are all kinds of modifiers available. Uh, Night Cafe is a place where you can do these things and uh, you can do them free or you can have a paid account that allows you more things that you can access. Although what I've noticed consistently is the things that are on the professional level eventually move down into the free level. Now that you might have a limited number of times you can use it uh, per month or something, but still those those or you have to wait for it to, you know, take a while for it to generate, fits you in when it can type thing. But a lot of those services have been moving down into the free and newer ones are being put into that pro category. So I've just found that really helpful. Uh, one of the things, you know, YouTube, it's really important to me that we have the 16.9 format. 16 to 9 format and uh, that you can just you can just pick it. Some other things are just square. And, you know, at least with the type of accounts that I have access to, there appears to no way, be no way to adjust it to certain formats you like. Or, but anyway, so we get to this video stuff. Now, it's funny because the video can come out really kind of good or really, really bad. <laughs> so first, we're going to look at a clip of a rabbit walking on a log. Okay, there it was. Now, uh, did you notice that the rabbit's ears grow at the end of the clip a little bit? But see, that's still an okay clip because, you know, the average person that's on just for five seconds, the average person probably isn't going to notice that. You can extend the clips too, so here's that extended. So that was a 10 second clip. Okay, so, you know, that's not too bad, although like I say, it seems obvious that something's up with the rabbit's ears, but I think most people just watching it probably wouldn't notice that unless, you know, you're the person who makes it and you're, you're seeing everything. Okay. And, uh, so then <laughs> this one's really bad. You know how you see all these, uh, uh, clips in m movies and things or TV where the bear rears up on his hind legs and he's got his paws up and he's huge growl, right? <laughs> so, why can't we do that? Bear rears up on its hind legs and growls. Well, look at this really bad result. And you can see that it looks like a guy in a bear suit. I mean, it it doesn't have the right joints. It's like, like I say, it's exactly what it would look like if a man was inside of a bear suit. And it's got, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just bad. So say that I, you know, I absolutely needed that. How would I go about getting that? I'd have to just go with what we have available with this. Uh, this is Luma that does the text to videos. I basically have to just keep going in there and adjusting the prompt over and over, saying real life bear, maybe say, you know, usually 
there's a thing where people say, well, say, don't do this. But a lot of times when you say, don't do this, just like a spoiled kid, it will do it. <laughs> so I'm just saying, oh, don't put glasses on the bear. There'll be glasses on the bear in the next clip it does. And uh, AI is very kind of, I don't know, sometimes it's like, I say, it's like working with a spoiled child. You ask the child to do something that you know they can do, and they either do it or they don't. Or they just throw something together and get back to you. And uh, that's what AI does a lot of times. It really produces really poor results or will continually represent the same thing even though you've asked it for a change and it, it just won't do it. So now that's the end of that. This is just an interesting thing. Okay, two points here. Uh, who owns these artificial intelligence platforms that do research? In other words, you type in something and this article comes back out, you know, a number of paragraphs about it. Well, you know, they're basically all owned by liberal companies. They're very liberal. And what I've noticed over the last year is them swinging uh, much more. This is, I should be going, yeah, that's right. Swing to the left a, a lot more, even to the point where they went so far, it was embarrassing and they had to correct it. And this happened with, well, this was in the text image department. All of a sudden, it was making all of these historic characters black. In other words, George Washington was black, Abraham Lincoln was black, and it was like, uh, someone had messed with it, some human, and told it it wanted a greater percentage of blacks, but it didn't say that it has to be accurate to history. So that was kind of an embarrassing problem that supposedly has been corrected, although I haven't specifically done some historic figures lately, but uh, I, I will sometimes. But So that's interesting. And the second thing that's kind of interesting is an artificial intelligence attack on a artificial intelligence system so it can provide uh, uh, content which the creators of that online AI system have forbidden. So like I was, I wanted to get an image of a rabbit caught in a snare. And with this video thing, I was like, oh, no, no, we can't do that. That's horrible. You know, that's, that's forbidden. We can't do that. Well, evidently with this program, it can go in and defeat all of these can't do, can't do, shouldn't do that humans have put in and it will just do it. So uh, you can see the problem with that. If uh, someone, uh, I guess, pick up something that I can say that, that YouTube composers won't like, let's say, it's illegal to put cameras on fish, right? And, you know, it will never tell you how to do that. It will never return any results. And then you put this program in, and it basically can give you high-quality data pulled from all kinds of places in the Internet on how to put cameras on fish. Now, of course, you can put cameras on fish. That's not illegal, depending on who you are and what you're doing with conservation. But my point is here that someone... You know, some human blocked that and saying, no, 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 we're not doing that. And you get this program that goes in, the skeleton key program that goes in, click, and unlocks it, and then it will do it. So you can imagine that wanting something that most people would not want to be available on the Internet could be easily accessible uh, to, to people who you don't want to have that information so that's just my interesting points about artificial intelligence at this point. Bye.